fucking train wreck. Shit. Hey guys, so ignore the way that I look right now. I was supposed to go get my nails done because look at that. That's pretty horrific. Um, but I have to go back at two because I only let Amy touch these nails and so she's busy. And I didn't make an appointment. But in the meantime, I thought I would stop by Barnes & Noble. And while I was here, I just had this cool idea. Not really my idea. I was watching Books and Lola's video, new video yesterday. And basically, she was going through all the videos that she's attempted but like hasn't posted for whatever reason. And she was saying that she was going to the person in front of her at a bookstore and like buy their books like the way that people do with restaurants or drive throughs and makeup and stuff and you said that other people can do it and so that's exactly what I'm gonna do except I'm not going to buy the person's in front of me books because I just don't even know how to work that out but I was thinking that I would just go to the YA section and let someone who's browsing tell me their two favorite books and whatever those books are I'll buy them and I'll read them for next month I feel like that's a thing and I feel like who wouldn't want to help me with that you know so we're gonna go to Barnes & Noble I don't know if you can film in Barnes & Noble I've seen other people film in bookstores so I don't think it should be that big of a deal but yay let's do it Alright guys, so I am back in the car and I did a thing. I got those two books, but I also got four other books. So we are now over budget, over, but like my heart is happy. So that counts for something, right? Yeah. So I will see you guys at home. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Paper Cuts and Ink. So I know this is a little different of a setup today, but honestly, the lighting is just, like if I turned this way to where the bookshelves are behind me all of the way, the lighting is terrible. So this is just what we're dealing with right now, okay? Because I chose to film in front of the window. With that being said, I'm home now. Um, got my nails done, aren't they? Pretty, you know, I trust Amy with my life. Okay, I don't trust her with my life, but I trust her with my nails. Definitely my nails. So, at Barnes & Noble, I did find someone who told me her two favorite books. She was very nice. I didn't catch her name. But that's okay. If I didn't film in Barnes and Noble because one, I just don't think that you can, and they play music, and it's just a lot, and that I didn't want to deal with because I just feel like it's okay. You guys don't need to see that. But it did happen. I promise I did not pick these myself. I had never read either of these books. I probably wouldn't have bought either of these books ever. And then on top of the two books that she recommended to me or that her favorite books, I also did bad things. And I bought four more books that had nothing to do with this. And I also went to Target to get some stuff for the house and bought like three more books. So I'm officially banned from buying books for the rest of this month. There's no, I, can, I can't justify it. Like it's just, it's over. It's okay, you know? So the first book that she recommended is Holes by Louise Sakar. I think that's how you say his name. I'm not really sure. I've never read this book. I have seen the movie loads of times. Shia LaBeouf is bae. Like, he could get it. Okay. Honestly, I never, I would never read this. I saw the movie. I love the movie. It was fine. You know? I wouldn't read this but it's one of her favorite books if you don't know or if you haven't seen holes which go see holes because not even go see it it's old rent it or download it whatever you do 
Holes is basically about a kid named Stanley. Stanley has like a family generational curse or he thinks he does or because of his curse he ends up going to a detention center. At this detention center they have to dig, it's a bunch of boys, they have to dig a hole pretty much like a holiday. The detention center of course has like ulterior motives as to why they're digging these holes but they're not doing it for the reasons that they think that they're doing it even though they're at this detention center and it's just really really good. I'm really actually excited to read this. It'll be fun. I think it'll be fun. The next book that she recommended was When You Are Engulfed in Flames by David Sedaris. This book I've never heard of before in my entire life. I had no idea what she was talking about and she recommended Holes because she said it was the book that got her into reading in the first place which I thought was really cool but she said this one got her through a really hard time and um, I don't know that just makes it more special. It's a compilation of essays and the essays cover dark topics like death and um, dying and I guess the author has like a very humorous tone so that's I'm here for that I don't know exactly when I'm gonna be getting to these probably soon before the month is over I will have knocked these out on top of my already expansive TBR that just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing but it's okay so the other books that I got from Barnes and Noble were spur of the moment picks because I have zero self-control and books make me happy and what are you gonna do you know it's just when a book is looking at you and it's just like hey pick me up I pick it up duh all of the books that I got are actually pretty dark I think they're like mystery thriller I'm sorry for the glare the Sun is moving I don't know what to do about it it's the Sun <sighs> the first book that I got that wasn't on my list it had nothing to do with the challenge it's the sacrifice box by Martin Stewart in this beautiful book I saw it the cover and I saw this little box here and I saw the little creepy eyes and I was like yeah let's make that happen you know in this book it is about I want to say it's set in the 80s there are boys who go into the woods to find this ancient creepy box and in this box they decide to they put like some of their treasured possessions that they sacrifice to go inside of this very very creepy box and they make a pact to never come back to the box alone never go to the box in the dark and never take any of your sacrifices back time passes bad shit starts to happen and it's happening because someone clearly broke their vow, went back to the box, took their sacrifice. I can't wait. I'm actually really excited about this. And, you know, YA mystery thrillers are like not, they're not easy to, to find that are good. So I really, really am rooting for it. I really hope that it's good. I refused to go on Goodreads or anything and read anything about what anybody else had to say because it just seemed like I might love it and I don't want anyone to persuade me that I might not love it not that I would ever not read a book simply because someone else decided that they hated it yeah that's true I wouldn't but it would dim my excitement for it if that makes any sense like it would just put a little damper on the joy that I had when I picked it up it would be like oh okay well now now I hope I like it instead of like fuck yeah this book sounds great there we go that's what I was trying to say the next book that I got I'm worrying between taking it back or just fixing the mistake that I made so I bought the girl in the green silk gown by Seanan McGuire. I love the Wayward Children series. And so I was like, you know what? Every person that I've ever heard say like, I 
love the way we're a children series. They're like, I love it. Oh my God, the glare is moving up. Not okay. So they're like, I love it, but I wouldn't read any other of her books. And that doesn't make any sense to me. Because I just feel like with every other author, they're like, yeah, what else do you have to offer? So, but with her, they don't. So whatever. And so I saw this and I was like, okay, let's do it. It sounds super interesting. It's about a girl who is dead and has been dead for like 60 years. She is still wandering the world hitchhiking. And the guy who killed her is still after her. And it just sounded really good until I got home. And I was reading it, reading the back of it, and realized that this is book number two in a series. So, I don't know if this can be read without reading the first one. I don't know, you know, could, could I just start here? Would I want to just start here? Are there spoilers? I don't know. So, I'm probably going to order the first one on Amazon and call it a day. That's the conclusion. Bam. I am really like this glare is killing me guys. I might move you. I might move you. Hold on. Hold on. See, I can't even lean for it. I've concluded I either need to wait for the sun to come down past my roof. That's pretty much the only option. I guess I can eat chips until it does that. We're gonna do guacamole until this fixes itself. Guacamole. <laughs> Where do you guys get your guacamole from? I get mine from Whole Foods. Whole Foods has the best guacamole. Cause it's like made with love. And health and shit. It could be here for the rest of my life. I just want to talk about books. Film in front of a window, they said. It'll be fun, they said. It'll give you perfect lighting, they said. Alright, well, looks like I'm just gonna have to be the melanin sun goddess I am while we talk about the rest of these books, which is fine. The sun's right there, but it's fine. We'll be fine, you know? My melanin will be popping. Maybe I'll get a tan. It's okay, we're okay. So, let's let's keep going, shall we? Until we're, until we're done. The next book that I got from Brent and Noble are Here There Are Monsters by Emelinda Barube. I'm gonna imagine that that's how you say that. This cover is amazing. Here there are monsters are about two sisters. One is 16, one is younger. She's her younger sister. And basically her younger sister gets obsessed with these woods and eventually disappears. And this is about her sister trying to go find her. Trying to find her? That's what I'm, that's what I gather. But I'm really excited to read it. I'm really excited to read all of these books and I don't know why I keep saying that. So there's that too. The next book that I got is Don't You Cry by Mary Kubica. This book follows two different people, one woman and one guy. They're in, one's in Chicago and one's like in a town outside of Chicago and the girl's friend goes missing. The guy Meanwhile, the guy meets a mysterious woman who he, like, likes. Eventually, you know, their paths cross. The girl is trying to find her friend. And the guy, I don't know what happens to the guy. But that's what I got from the synopsis. It's going to be awesome. The next book that I got, oh, is that it? Oh, okay, so those are all the books that I got from Rent and Noble. Then I went to Target, like I said. And here's the first book that I got from Target. I got An Unwanted Guest by Sherry Lupina. This book reminded me when I read the synopsis of, because I literally just watched the movie Clue. 
I want to say, where like they're all in a house and then like they just start dying off and you got to figure out like who's did it with like the candlestick or whatever. I just watched it. It was great. So when I read this synopsis, that's what it made me think of. Um, basically, pretty much there's people in a house and they start dying off and they're trying to figure out why who is doing this what's going on the next book that i got is the couple next door by sherry lapina this one is about a couple who are at dinner next door something happens to their child inside of their own house everybody thinks they have they did it or had something to do with it that just sounds like a good time because did they did they do it did they have something to do with it did they stage it who knows i don't know but i'm gonna read it and i'm gonna find the fuck out the next book that i got is the chain by adrian mckinty this book i have seen everywhere on instagram and i was just like yes yes that sounds amazing so basically this woman's daughter gets kidnapped and she gets a call says i have your daughter and you're never going to see her again unless you pay the ransom and kidnap somebody else's child and so on and so forth and the chain just keeps going and going and going and i'm so, it sounds so interesting like what you kidnap my kid, but you want me to kidnap another kid? Yes, yes I do, and I want I want to read I want to read you doing it. That's my book haul. Those are all the books that I got today. I am a sweaty, sweaty melanin goddess. It's all right. Going back to the challenge, these two books will definitely be getting read this month, and hopefully, I love them. You know, I think the cool thing about this would be bringing me out of my comfort zone when it comes to books. And so I'm really excited for that and seeing if like, you know, trying something new. Yeah. So anyway, thank you for being on my channel. Thank you for watching my channel. Thank you for subscribing. If, you've, if you have subscribed, that's awesome. Please like, comment, and subscribe some more if you do like this whatever's going on. Cause it's going we're gonna figure it out together we're gonna grow together it's gonna be wonderful it's gonna be fucking beautiful guys don't know what i'm calling this i guess i'm calling this read someone else's two favorite books Ting. Ah. bye thank you for watching like subscribe comment i comment back just so you know and I will see you guys later. I have to get out of the sun. I just have to. I'm not making it. I won't make it any further than this. Bye.